Welcome to my educational video on diabetes type 2. Today, we'll explore 10 essential warning signs that could indicate you have diabetes or someone you care about may be at risk. Diabetes is a serious medical condition that affects millions worldwide, and early detection is vital for effective management and a healthier life. Before we begin, it's essential to remember that while these signs are significant, experiencing one or more of them doesn't automatically mean you have diabetes. However, recognizing these symptoms and seeking professional guidance can lead to timely diagnosis and appropriate treatment. I will share my story of how I was diagnosed and the process that I went through, along with the symptoms that I first noticed, but that be at the end of the video. So, let's dive into the 10 warning signs of diabetes, spending one minute on each symptom, to better understand how this condition can manifest itself. Whether you're looking out for yourself or supporting a loved one, knowledge about these warning signs empowers you to take proactive steps towards better health. Please consult with a healthcare professional if you suspect any of these symptoms, as they are experts in diagnosing and managing diabetes. Now, let's explore these warning signs to promote early detection and foster a healthier future. Number 1. Frequent Urination, Polyuria High blood sugar levels, a hallmark of diabetes, overwhelm the kidney's ability to reabsorb water. This causes more water to be drawn into the urine, leading to increased frequency of urination. You might find yourself needing to use the bathroom more frequently, including during the night, nocturia. Polyuria can lead to dehydration if not properly managed. Number 2. Increased thirst, polydipsia. Polydipsia is the body's response to polyuria. As you lose more fluids through frequent urination, you become more thirsty. The sensation of constant thirst is your body's way of trying to replenish the lost fluids. It's essential to drink water but be mindful of excessive fluid intake, as it can be a sign of diabetes. Number 3. Unintended Weight Loss When cells can't access glucose for energy due to insulin resistance or insufficient insulin production, the body starts breaking down fats and muscle tissue for energy. This results in unintended weight loss, even if you're eating regularly. Sudden and unexplained weight loss should be investigated by a healthcare professional. Number 4. Increased hunger, polyphagia. With diabetes, glucose can't enter the cells efficiently, leading to cellular starvation. Your body compensates by signaling hunger, causing intense cravings and an insatiable appetite. Even after eating, you may still feel hungry. Polyphagia is one of the reasons diabetes can lead to weight gain in some cases. Number 5. Fatigue. When your cells don't receive enough glucose, they can't produce energy efficiently. As a result, you might feel tired, weak, and fatigued. Persistent fatigue is a common symptom of diabetes and it can significantly impact daily activities and overall well-being. Number 6. Blurred vision. Elevated blood sugar levels cause fluid to be pulled from the lenses of your eyes, affecting their ability to focus properly. Blurred vision can come and go, and it may fluctuate with changes in blood sugar levels. It's crucial to have regular eye checkups, as uncontrolled diabetes can lead to more severe eye problems including diabetic retinopathy. Number 7. Slow healing sores or frequent infections. High blood sugar levels can damage blood vessels and impair the immune system's function. This makes it harder for your body to heal wounds and fight off infections. Small injuries, cuts, or sores may take longer to heal and you might experience more frequent infections such as urinary tract infections, skin infections, and gum infections. Number 8. Tingling, pain, or numbness in the hands or feet, neuropathy. Long-term exposure to high blood sugar can damage nerves, leading to diabetic neuropathy. The tingling, burning sensations, pain, or numbness typically start in the toes and feet and may progress up the legs and hands. 
neuropathy can be debilitating and affects quality of life if left unmanaged. Number 9. Areas of Darkened Skin Acanthosis nigricans is a skin condition that often indicates insulin resistance. Dark, velvety patches can develop in areas like the armpits, neck, groin, or between fingers and toes. Acanthosis nigricans is not exclusive to diabetes and can also be associated with other health conditions. Number 10 Frequent Illness or Infection Persistently elevated blood sugar levels can weaken the immune system's ability to fight infections, making you more susceptible to illnesses like colds, flu, or other infections. If you notice a pattern of frequent illnesses or infections, it might be a signal to get your blood sugar levels checked. Remember, these symptoms can vary in intensity and may not always be present in every person with diabetes. If you experience any of these signs, it's essential to see a healthcare professional for proper evaluation, diagnosis, and management of diabetes. Early detection and proper care are crucial to preventing complications and maintaining overall health. In my personal experience, I quickly noticed the first two symptoms, but instead of rushing to the doctor, I decided to wait for about a week to be absolutely sure about what I was experiencing. My initial thought was that these symptoms might subside in just a few days. However, as the days went by, my symptoms didn't improve on their own. I conducted some research and discovered that diabetes is a common issue among patients with Friedreich's ataxia, and interestingly, it's prevalent among individuals with disabilities in general. Before seeking medical help, I took a proactive step and purchased a blood sugar monitoring device to check my levels at home. The specific device I chose had a range up to 600, while normal blood sugar levels usually fall between 90 and 120. The device showed a high reading, indicating that my blood sugar was well over 600. This was the moment I knew it was crucial to go to the hospital for further evaluation. During my five-day hospital stay, I had the opportunity to speak with several nutritionists and diabetes specialists. They provided valuable insights and guidance on managing diabetes. Additionally, some caring nurses offered helpful tips on selecting appropriate food choices, particularly recommending zero-sugar soft drinks as part of a diabetes-friendly diet. In the description below, you'll find links to the devices I use daily for managing my diabetes. These tools have been instrumental in helping me stay on top of my health. Additionally, I've included links to some delicious and diabetic-friendly food and drink options in the description. Remember, it's always a good idea to explore various sources to find the best prices, and I personally found some of these items at slightly better deal at Walmart. Happy shopping and take care of your health. Remember to consult with your healthcare professional before making any changes to your diabetes management plan. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to take charge of your health journey.